Hi, everybody. So great again to be back with you. I'm grateful for each one of you and how the biblical value of connecting continues to be lived out in all of our small group ministry. So way to go. Uh, we had a good time in God's Word. Uh, thank the Lord. Mark chapter 6. And we saw how rest is something that has to be intentionally planned. This slowing down. We're all running at a breakneck pace. And God wants us to make sure that we get some of those Sabbath times where we're actually resting, where we're withdrawing and taking in the resources of our relationship with Him and the joy that comes from all of that. And you've got a lot of questions related to the five different uh, points that we made about rest. Uh, Pastor Scott's done a great job again of writing up some questions for you to dialogue about. But I wanted to at least say so long to each one of you for a little while. Uh, this will be my last time before, Lord willing, we'll be back uh, on the first weekend in September on Labor Day weekend. And I'll be sharing some of the things that the Lord has revealed to me and some of the things that I think we need to keep working on uh, here at Emmanuel Faith Church. Suffice to say, while I'm away, uh, please continue to pray for Marcia and me. Uh, pray that the Lord will guide and lead and get, continue to give blessing to the ministries here. Uh, nothing is going to change. We're going to continue to serve the Lord and grow, connect, and share together. Those are our, our key values in our paradigm that really make us who we are at Emmanuel Faith Church. So, so keep going. Uh, let me just highlight again some of the reasons why I'm going so that you can pray. The first and foremost is going to be to rest. This will give me a chance to unwind the rubber band and uh, to uh, withdraw just a little bit from all of the demands of ministry so that I can uh, listen to the Lord, draw close to the Lord, and do some personal and professional discovery. That's one of the things that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, the second thing is for me to uh, re-energize. Uh, I know that God is another chapter for me here at Emmanuel Faith Church, and uh, I'm looking forward to what that will be. And so as you pray that God will speak and re-energize my soul that, so that I can continue to lead this church in the way that, that he uh, really wants me to. Uh, the third area, it's another R, is to reconnect. This will give me a chance to be away and interact with some of my siblings. Since I work most weekends, I don't get to see my siblings, and I have six siblings uh, uh, very much, nor their kids. So I have nieces and nephews and lots of grandkids now. So this will provide time for me to reconnect with, with my dear Marcia, with my own kids, with my grandkids. And uh, you just pray that the Lord will, will reestablish some of those lines of communication, especially with our extended family. And then uh, finally, the fourth R is that I'll come back uh, re-envisioned as to what the Lord really, really is desiring for us here as we move beyond. Uh, this theme is going to resonate throughout our fall series as I really think that the Lord has some brand new things that He wants to do. He wants us surely to move beyond the status quo uh, within our own hearts, within our own ministries, within our own lives. Training our family, serving our community, changing our world. So I'm thrilled that uh, you can go on this rest with me. I pray that you'll be able to implement some of this rest time into your own very busy schedule. But uh, while I'm away, please continue again. As I mentioned, pray, continue to um, uh, attend and support the church here as you've done so faithfully. And uh, I'll really look forward to being back with you in September. You've got some great preachers coming from our staff and uh, you'll be fed uh, great meals of God's Word. So blessings on you, and we'll see you in a few months.